The cinematography of Roger Deakins is very recognizable for one main reason. It's beautiful. But why are Deakins' films as beautiful looking as they are? Well, as a child in Torquay, England, Roger was a painter. It was his passion. And once grown up, he decided to pursue this passion for visual arts at the Bath School of Art and Design. And here he discovered what became his primary interest. Photography. As Deakins grew more confident in this skill, people noticed, and he was hired to shoot a documentary, a series of photos of his childhood hometown, Torquay. This exposure to filmmaking evidently caught his attention, because about a year later, Deakins was pursuing filmmaking at the National Film and Television School in Buckinghamshire. After graduating, Deakins went on to shoot many major films. These include 1984, Barton Fink, The Shawshank Redemption, A Beautiful Mind, The Village, No Country for Old Men, Doubt, True Grit, Skyfall, Prisoners, and most recently, Blade Runner 2049. Deakins has likely been so successful in his cinematography because of his painting, graphic design, and photography skill, all with different visual arts principles that he can channel into his cinematography. But then again, what sets him apart from other cinematographers who may take a similar approach? Well, I've noticed three principal elements in his work. Simple lighting setups, simple or low saturation color schemes, and smooth, steady camera work. This scene from Skyfall exemplifies all three. Number one, how many lights do you see in this shot? Well, I only see one very bright and large backlight and a reflector positioned so we can see Bond's face, but it is possible that the second one is a very soft fill light. This is a very simple lighting setup and even the one backlight is meant to imitate the natural light of the burning house in the background, showing Deacon's respect for natural light. Number two, how many colors do you see in this scene? Well, there are hues of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, and black in this shot, the whole spectrum, but it doesn't resemble a rainbow. As is evident by this photo of how the raw lighting looked on set that day, the colors of the scene are wisely kept desaturated. And while Deakins may not have been very involved with color grading, he does have a say in how the lighting should look on set. Number three, Deakins' camera movements speak for themselves. You can see his attention to detail in the way he controls the movement of shots, often with just the right amount of shake in the handheld shots. He tends to stick to smooth, steady shots that showcase the actor's performances and the movement of the scene as a whole. Are those three factors all there is to Deacon cinematography? Well, of course not. You could pinpoint endless reasons as to why his films are so beautiful his imaginative camera movements, his use of shadows and contrast, his focus on actors' performances, his loyalty to the screenplay and the director's vision. It's gotten to a point now where if you hear Roger Deakins is going to be the cinematographer for an upcoming film, you can almost always trust that it will be good because he works with directors he can trust and those directors tend to channel his skill in visual arts very well. The directors he works with also really know how to complement Deacon's visuals with an appropriate score, such as Howard Shore's score for the movie Doubt, which I've been playing songs from throughout this video. 
Roger Deakins is an artist, and to try to understand the mind of an artist is a difficult task. What I've learned from Deakins is that the things we find simply beautiful are often beautifully simple as well.